Hi guys, I'm Noko. Today I'm gonna to show you seven yoga stretches to release a build up in your hips. This will allow your hips to move with more ease, less tension, less friction, and create more mobility. I will be using a towel. So if you have a towel, a little blanket or a block later on, uh, you can use them. If not, you'll be fine. Let's start on our back. Placing the hands on the belly or your arms can be extended sideways. And we're gonna do some windshield wipers. So you're gonna have your feet a bit wider than the mat and we're just gonna drop the knees to one side and then to the other side. Inhaling, we bring the knees up. Exhaling, we drop the knees to one side. And as you drop your knees, allow your low back to lift off the floor. So you're also stretching the low back. And you may feel the stretch right here in your hips. Inhaling center, exhaling, dropping the knees to the other side. Again, inhaling, exhaling. Every time we drop the knees, we try to bring them a bit closer to the floor. So we're warming up the hip socket. We're also stretching the hip flexors. A couple more times each side. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, one more. Inhaling center, let's pull the knees to the chest. Hands on the knees, we're gonna open the knees wide and make big circles, two separate circles with the knees. So we extend the elbows, bring the knees together, Pull the knees to the chest, and again we open wide. And as we're doing this, we also um, releasing the tightness in the hip socket. You may feel it in the inner thigh. You may feel it in the hip flexors. So we're warming up all this area here. And by doing this, as we create movement in those hips, we release synovial fluid. Let's reverse. Synovial fluid um, helps provide nutrients, bring nutrients to your hips, to your hips, to your joints, to any joint you move. You will release synovial fluid, and this lubricates the hips or the joint you're working on and keeping it moving with less friction. So this is our second stretch, knee circles. So here really working on the joint. All right, back to center. Let's do a figure four. This will really stretch the muscle kind of in the hips, between the hips and the glute. So you're gonna feel it right here. Let's cross the right leg over left. As you notice, I'm flexing the ankle. I'm not just letting it hang. I'm flexing it to protect the knee. And from here, what I want to do is push the knee away from me. You may hold it right here and feel it here. If you feel it here, that's fine. If you don't feel it, you can lift your bottom leg and thread what we call thread the needle so place your arm through your legs and maybe interlace your fingers underneath the left knee if your um, hands are not reaching and you notice you rounding the back or lifting the lower uh, back here what you can do is use your towel and place it underneath so this basically, the towel increases the length or the reach of your arms, okay? That's one option. And the more you pull this left knee to the chest, the deeper you're gonna feel the stretch in the glute here. So now we're stretching more the muscles in the hips. Option to extend if you want to stretch the hamstring at the same time, that's just an option. option to pull a bit closer and we want to keep the length in the spine so if you notice your shoulders are rounding 
okay it means you need to move your left leg away from you a little bit and use a towel or yoga strap to increase your reach let's take a deep breath in as we exhale feel this knee moving away from you three more deep slow breath this is our third stretch figure four one more releasing switching side so flexing the left ankle crossing the left ankle over the right thigh moving this left knee away option to hold it here if you feel the stretch in your glute right here maybe that's where you start if you want to go deeper you left your right foot keeping the lower leg parallel with the floor and interlacing the fingers underneath the knee option to pull be closer to the chest big breath in through the nose big breath out again big breath in and out three more inhaling through the nose as we exhale let's pull the knee a bit closer two more deep slow breath on your own and slowly releasing rolling to one side using our arms to come into a seated position crossing our legs if you have a hard time sitting up here with your spine straight you're rounding your back or you feel like placing your hands back you want to use your towel fold your towel it can be a small pillow this will elevate your hips and help to keep the spine long in a healthy position so from here what we're gonna do is place the hands in front of us so if your hands are not reaching or if you feel that it's really tight here you just hold it here if you want to go a bit further hands on the floor hands on a block a book on anything you want here and then we slowly move further forward Maybe we place the forehead down. Wherever you are is fine. And as you're holding, just hold the position. As you're holding, you're going to feel the stretch again right here. Now we're stretching the connective tissues, the tendons, the muscles. now if you're not feeling much here you can go all the way down with your chest or also that's another option to go a bit deeper placing your ankle your whole ankle on the block and doing the same thing leaning forward pick the option that works for you should be challenging means it should be a little bit uncomfortable but not painful let's hold it another three deep slow breaths Breathing in and out. Two more in and out. One more. And slowly rolling up, shaking our legs. So this is our fourth stretch. Let's cross the other leg forward. And same thing, maybe you're sitting on the mat, maybe you're sitting on a towel or a pillow, holding it right here. Hands can be right here. You can place your maybe your elbows here and holding it here. And as we're holding, it's important to uh, relax your body. If you're not relaxing, you create even more tension instead of creating length. So that's a position you can hold 
um, let's say if you're doing work on the computer, on the floor, if you're watching TV, you can sit on the floor a few minutes and do your stretch. Couple more deep, slow breath. One more. Slowly easing out, shaking our legs. Okay, the next one is another exercise that's um, pretty good for tight hips. So let's start on a towel. And I'm going to show you with one leg extended, the other knee bent. If this is uncomfortable on your knee, means you have to fold your towel. Maybe you have to fold it even more so you have more elevation in your hips. Maybe you have to sit on a block or thicker pillow. Should not be uncomfortable here. So as you're sitting here, you may tend to lean onto one side because it's tight here. That's what we're going to do here is press your hip down and lift and down. Lift it up and press down. As you notice, I'm not rounding the back. Okay, I'm keeping from the waist up, nothing really is moving. It's from the waist down. It's basically lifting the hip and pressing it down. And you really feel it deep into the hip here. If you don't feel anything, remove the towel or open your, your foot a little bit. Okay? Um, if your knee is right here, move it wider here, more open. You can even open the foot so you have a right angle. So it's much deeper stretch. Now the other option, okay, same thing here, we lift, we press down, lift and press, inhale, exhale, breathing into the nose, out to the nose of the mouth, inhale, lift, exhale, press, one more. And from here, reaching the arm up and leaning sideways. Okay, this is where you may feel that, oops, you're kind of stiff here, kind of stuck here. Couple more breath. And back to center. Before going to the other side, I like to do some more windshield wipers from a seated position feet wide open, we lean back a little bit, dropping the knees, side to side. So we're loosening up kind of everything here, not controlling much, we're just swinging side to side, creating mo movement. All right, let's go to the other side. So option to do it on the floor, on a towel. Let's start with the one leg straight. That's option one. See what works best for you. There should be no pain in your knees. Um, if you have pain, elevate your hips even more. Now, option to open this knee more. The wider you open, the deeper you're gonna go into the stretch here. Now you can also open the back ankle. Okay, or you can bend the front knee, whichever works for you is fine. So you can try those different options. Inhale, we lift, exhale, we press down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, keeping the shoulders almost still. Okay, whether your front knee is bent or not. Inhale, exhale. If you want to go a bit deeper, open your ankle out. Feels a huge difference actually. And from here, reaching up and leaning sideways without twisting. Okay, sideways. This is our fifth stretch. 
We have two more. And center. Let's shake out our legs. Let's get into a lizard. So you're going to feel the stretch in your hip flexors. On all fours. If you have um, your knees uncomfortable or if you're on a hard surface, again, you can place your folded towel under the back knee. Split the right foot on the outside of the right hand. And what we're going to do is crawl this foot further forward. And notice my hips here, like I have right angle here and here. What I want to do is press my tailbone forward, keeping this knee stacked over the ankle. If your foot is too close to your knee, when you press forward, see what happens to my knee? I create a lot of tension, a lot of pressure that's unhealthy for your knee. So we want to move this foot forward, press the hips forward, tailbone forward. Hands can be on a block again. Let me grab my block. Can be on a stool, on um, books. And you'll feel the stretch in the crease of the front hip and in the hip flexor of the back leg. If you want to go deeper, elbows can be on the block. You can have your hands on the mat. You can have your elbows, your forearms on the mat. And we're going to hold it here for a little bit. So this is a pretty deep stretch. Find your breath. And slowing down the breath. slowly easing out. Let's shake our legs. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Bring the left foot on the outside of the left hand, crawling this left foot forward, placing any support or padding underneath the right knee, bringing the tailbone forward. Hands on a block. Elbows on a block. Hands on the mat. Forearms on the mat. Deepening the breath. Slowly easing out of the position. Let's sit up either on the floor or on your towel. Legs in butterfly. Grabbing the ankle, lengthening the spine on the inhale. Maybe we just hold it here. And if your knees are right here, don't worry. Okay? If you're rounding your back, elevate your hips even more. Maybe you sit on a block or a bigger pillow. Okay? Um, until you feel you can sit straight up. Even if your knees are right here. And if you can, grabbing your ankles. Lengthening the spine on the inhale. 
and just relaxing forward. And maybe you're not relaxing forward, maybe you're just holding it straight up, and that's fine. So um, what I'd like you to do is tell me if uh, you had to use a block or a pillow or a towel for those exercises so that I kind of know where you at and let me know what else you'd like me to show you uh, what else you need because those videos are for you let's relax forward rolling up I'd like to end with a spinal twist just to release any tightness that you may have in the back and you might need also block and towel to help with your hips so let me show you first <coughs> so what we're gonna do we're gonna scoop the hips to the left drop the knees to the right now if your legs are right here, this is where you want to have maybe a pillows, towel, support your legs. Because if your legs are just hanging in the air, you're straining your back. Maybe there's a gap between both knees. This is where you place the block. And you see how I place it the long uh, length of the lower leg, so there's support for the leg. Otherwise, you put a little bit of strain on your knee. Now as I'm talking, my left shoulder is off the floor. So what I want to do is bring it back to center. And if you have the space to open your arms, okay, you can do so. And then if this is very comfortable, you want to go deeper, you can remove the block. You can remove the pillow underneath. You can even extend both legs, okay. Um, I like to place one hand on my top thigh, so I kind of feel the stretch right here, still in my hip. Even though I'm stretching the low back, I feel it right here. Let's see if we can press this left shoulder a little bit deeper into the back. I invite you to close your eyes. Notice if you are still holding any tension in the hips. If so, deepen the breath. Slow down the breath. Allowing your body to just settle into the position to surrender to the pose. Slowly blinking the eyes open, knees back to center. Let's scoop the hips to the right this time, dropping, oops, <laughs> dropping the knees to the left. So if you're using a towel or block, switch side. Then we lift the knees, we drop the knees to one to the other side. Again, my shoulder is lifting off. Uh, try to press it down. And if you have a gap between your legs. Use your block, another pillow. I like to place my hand right here on my thigh to go a bit deeper and really feel the stretch. I really feel it from the hip bone here, stretching, pulling. I invite you to close your eyes. Connecting with the breath. Let's bring the eyes open. Bring the knees back to one side. And as we come up, we use the bottom elbow, top hand, 
to provide support to the lower back. All right, so as you move around, you walk around, you should feel your hips much looser. You may feel even taller because we've lengthened all those tight tissues. We created more space in those hips. Let's place our hands towards center. And if you are not in my private Facebook group yet, scroll down. Uh, it's free, you just have to request to be added answer a few questions to make sure that that's the right fit for you um, and that you are interested in more content from me and you can actually contact me directly there um, I do some live videos on and off so if it's something you're really interested on in let me know namaste